Ooh, that is also something special what we have here. It's a Cabernet Dorsa. Yes. What sir. is that for a grape? Cabernet Dorsa is a crossing, it's a German crossing between the Cabernet Sauvignon and the German Dornfelder. And um, so this crossing um, have a grape that um, becomes very good sugar production. Um, it tastes between Dornfelder and Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a very interesting grape. And um, the grapes in the, in the wine bag um, have very good taste and you smell this and, and um, taste it in the wine. Yeah, it has a full body. Mm -hmm. Not really sort of the characteristics of a normal Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes. There's a little bit different fruit in it. Yes. But also strong tannins. Yeah, full body. Full it body. comes from the Cabernet Sauvignon. The yeah. so Dornfelder is a very easy to grape. Cabernet Sauvignon. So it is makes it lighter, the yeah. Dornfelder part. Yeah, in, in the, the, the better Dornfelder. So okay. Very better Dornfelder, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. And. Uh, 14.5 percent alcohol natural. Natural. natural 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 alcohol how, how long was it well, how did you make it was it fermented in in a wooden or steel tank or um, first it was fermented as a maceration in stainless steel and after the maceration um, we put it in barrels um, barracks and it uh, stays in the barracks for um, two years, two and a half years, and then we bring it on the bottle, and here it stays also two years. Did it have uh, malolactic fermentation? Yes, yes. In the, in the barrique? No, we make um, the parallel, the alcohol fermentation and the malolactic fermentation, we make it um, completely in one. Okay, in, yeah. in, in one go. Yeah. And then you leave it aging for two years, on the barrel and before you bottle it. Yes. Yes. So what do you think? How how long can I keep this wine? For ten years, no problem. Yeah? Yeah. Cheers, it's a good Cheers. interesting uh, new red varietal.